turn it on, let it preheat. We'll get some wood chips inside while we're getting our tools, and then we'll get the smoke chamber going. Yeah, I'm excited to get our first chicken cooked in it. All right, we'll put some beach wood chips in here. I gotta figure out a way for us to make our own from alder. We have a ton of alder around here and alders are really good for smoking. But we gotta, we gotta be able to make chips and we gotta be able to make them so they're dry. You only need a few handfuls. So you do that. I gotta turn on the compressor, which is already on. And then we're gonna light it through down here. So that lights it. The compressor pushes it through and brings the smoke inside the cabinet. And then we'll get in the cabinet and come out the chimney. So it's on high right now. I'll let that stay going for a few minutes and then I'm gonna turn it down. First time smoking on our Dravos International Smoker. We're gonna do a whole chicken, hot smoked at 120 degrees Celsius, 248 Fahrenheit. We got some beach wood chips in there. We have the smoke on light. And that's gonna be in there for a few hours. Cook it to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So yeah, I'm excited to see how this comes out. Let it do its thing. I'll keep checking on it. I've had the chicken in the smoker for three and a half hours. Let's check and see how it is. So the smoker only goes up to 248 degrees. That's why I've left it in for so long. I'm curious to see what it looks like. It looks pretty. Oh yeah, she's overdone. Sheesh. I wonder how long ago it was done. I'm gonna have to get a Bluetooth meat thermometer that I can put in there and then check it with my phone. Because yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's way overdone. 165 is done, 200. Yeah, let me go get a container to put it in and then I'll, we'll get it up to the house and it's gonna make a delicious dinner. It feels nice and tender, so that is good. Uh, I didn't season it. I just put it in salt water brine overnight. So that way it would be defrosted. So I want to see what it tastes like just smoked from the smoker before we do any kind of like rub or anything. I just want to see what it tastes like out of the smoker, natural. So I'm gonna go get a container and then I'll meet you back up at the house. I forgot to tell you guys last night and I forgot to take the camera out while we were eating. That smoked chicken was delicious. We all loved it. It had a slight smoky taste but not overwhelming. It was in there for three and a half hours, way too long. It got cooked to 200 degrees. But that being said, that chicken was still moist and tender. It wasn't dry. It wasn't like leather from being overcooked. It was super moist. So being overcooked didn't harm it at all. Delicious. So what I did is I set it in a salt water brine overnight to defrost it, put it in the fridge, took it out in the morning, let it defrost completely. And I didn't add any rubs or any spices or anything to it. I just wanted to try it natural in the smoker to see how it was. And I am super impressed. Actually, I just brought the smoker in because it's supposed to be getting rain and snow, so it's in the workshop. <clears throat> but I'm super impressed with that. Uh, we're gonna be trying it again soon. I don't know if I'm gonna do it a chicken again with a different rub and stuff on it, or if I'm gonna go get, pick up some steaks or like a big roast or something. When we uh, do butcher, our sheep 297, we'll be doing some roast with that. But yeah, I'm excited. We do have some pork belly that we need to defrost and get going. But before we do the pork belly, I wanna work around and play with the smoker more before I am using it to smoke our delicious bacon. I just wanna get it dialed in. I do need to get a wireless thermometer so I can put it in there, the meat, while it's cooking, and then I can check it and see what it is instead of being like, okay, this is so many hours. Once I get better using it and more comfortable using it, I'll have it dialed in. I'll just be able to know like, hey, this is how long it's got to cook for. But right now I'm not there yet, but man, it was delicious.